Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On today's video, I'm gonna be grilling up Mahi Mahi fish tacos on the Santa Maria Grill. Let's get going. So this video is going to be another installation for my partnership with Xmark. Xmark manufactures some really nice lawn mowers and they've created a space on their website that encompasses everything about outdoor living. It's got fishing, hunting, DIY, hardscape, landscape, and cooking. So I'll have the link down below if you want to check them out. It's, it's definitely worth a visit. Anyway, we're going to kick this recipe off with a salsa aguacate, avocado salsa. So to the food processor, I'm going to add one whole avocado that I've pitted. I have here one whole jalapeno pepper that I chopped and removed most of that white pith. Still some seeds in there. Some white onion. Add a little bit of lime juice from a little Mexican lime. At this point I'm gonna blend it up a little bit. Throw in some cilantro, some fresh cilantro. And you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get this blended in a little bit. Some white vinegar. And again, this is a salsa, we're not making guacamole here. I'm gonna add some water and I'm going to add enough water until it has the consistency I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for consistency wise. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. A little kosher salt. Fresh ground pepper. A little more salt. That's what I'm looking for right there. All right, we're gonna set this aside, let those flavors come together, and I'm going to make a very quick chipotle crema. So this is really easy stuff here. I have Mexican crema. It's basically Mexican style sour cream, and it's just, it's, it flows a lot better. It's, it's made for you know putting on a taco, so it's not going to come out in big clumpy spoonfuls. It's really good. And I have here, this is just a chipotle sauce. It's uh, the, the sauce that comes in the jar or the can of chipotle peppers. And it's got a nice, nice amount of heat and a very smoky flavor. I'm just gonna add that to the crema. Stir it up, easy stuff. There we are. And now for the fish. So I have here some really nice mahi-mahi fillets. You can use whatever fish you like or you have access to, but just try to choose a fish that's fairly firm so it's not going to fall apart while we're grilling it. Right now what I'm going to do is cut these into strips so they'll fit in the tacos really nicely. Like that. The nice thing about tacos is a little meat goes a long way. So you can feed a lot of people on a budget, which is nice. All right, now what I'm going to do, just very quickly season these. Salt, pepper, garlic's fine, salt and pepper. I'm using adobo seasoning, I like that. A 
All right, we're ready to start cooking something. I have the grill all fired up. Meet you guys there. So I'm using the old Sunterra today, burning mesquite wood. We're gonna start off with some corn. I have some nice sweet corn here. So I'm just gonna get a nice char on. And this is what I'm looking for here, that nice char on the corn. I'm gonna place this right over here where there is no wood burning, just to keep it warm. Start kicking that fish. So for this cook, I'm gonna be using the laser cut grates, and I simply like this because of the smaller pieces of fish. I don't have to worry about any issues with them falling through the grates or anything. Take a little avocado oil, just put it on here. So I'm watching the color coming up the side of the fish to kind of figure out where it's at as far as doneness. All right, this fish is done. All right, now I'm going to warm up these corn tortillas. I'm warming these tortillas. I'm not trying to crisp them up at all. The, when, the, when you warm them up, they get really nice and soft. It's really good. All right. Ready to eat now. All right, let's build some tacos. I don't know if you can see, but these tortillas are actually steaming hot. This is nice. This is what you want. See the steam coming up? I like these little taco holders. I think they look cool and make it easy. The first thing I'm going to lay down is some shredded cabbage. And I shred this till it's like as fine as fine can be. I'm going to lay that down first in the bottom of the tortilla here. If you're going to do fish tacos, you have to go with cabbage. That's the tradition. Fish down in each taco. Right now we're gonna lay on some of that roasted corn, that fire roasted corn. And this just makes some magic going with these tacos. We have some of this beautiful salsa aguacate, this avocado salsa. Some of this chipotle crema. Some very finely minced cilantro and white onion. Finish it off with a little Mexican lime. And there we have it grilled mahi-mahi tacos, and these are looking good. All right, my favorite part, <laughs> someone has to try it. I elect me. Look at that. Warm tortillas, smells so good. Mm. The thing I like about these is it's very simple, and yet there's like a lot of complexity. The, that cabbage, it just provides a really nice crisp bite that you need. And then the fish, I mean, I, I love mahi-mahi. It's just very, you know, mild, not fishy, firm. The, there's heat coming on from both the crema, that smoky chipotle heat, and then the, uh, that avocado salsa from the jalapeno. But then that's countered by that crisp, sweet pop of those kernels of roasted corn. <laughs> it's really good. And then I like cilantro. I know some people don't. If you don't, then don't use it. But I, I think, you know, it adds that kind of herbalness, that herbal pop, I guess, that this needs. 
by the way, this is my breakfast. <laughs> Cheers to you there. Mm. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you check out the links below. If you're not subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you ring the notification bell. Thumb up the video if you like it. I hope you did. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers. <laughs>